So in Black Ops Cold War Zombies, there are ciphers hidden all around the map. So far, as far as I'm aware, there have been two solved. There is one which is very interesting that I want to make the main topic of this video, but I'm also going to talk about the other one as well, and maybe a couple of other things, because D-Machine is packed of information. There are audio logs, documents, radio transmissions, artifacts, tons of side easter eggs. I doubt we've even seen half of the easter eggs that are in this game. And a lot of the intel is quite difficult to collect. It is a lot of RNG. For example, with most of the documents, you get them from the Megatons. They don't always drop them. I've probably killed, I don't know, upwards of 50 megatons by now and I've got just a couple of pieces of intel from them. But you can also find them just lying around the map or from challenges. Anyway, so I want to take a look at the couple that have been solved so far. This first one was solved six days ago, pretty much when the game came out. It is this one up on screen now, AK Cypher. It was solved by Rich Killer, who I would say is the guy who solves easter eggs within the community. He's one of the more noticeable names out there. As for how this was solved, well, he said the key is Outbreak. The Cypher type is a Bayfort. I really don't know too much about this, so if you want to check it out for yourself, I will link it down in the description. And when you crack it, it says Attention K. Initial survey of the Ural site verifies it is by far the largest incursion zone yet recorded. We must assume Requiem will detect it via satellite and deploy fire teams regardless of sovereign borders. Recommend continuing operations while monitoring Requiem communication. With your support, I will ensure all new gains remain in Soviet hands. So I've got a few questions. First off, who is K? This letter is addressed to someone called K. As far as I can think of, there is no one whose name begins with K in the zombie storyline. This could be to a new character we've yet to meet, and as for who the letter is from, well, it seems like one of the bad guys because they say, I will ensure any new gains remain in Soviet hands. Could this be someone from the Omega group? And the biggest thing is they say, initial survey of the Ural site verifies it is by far the largest incursion zone yet recorded. We must assume Requiem will detect it via satellite and deploy fire teams. Now, there is a mode in Black Ops Cold War called Fireteam. I haven't played, but I'm pretty sure the map that mode takes place on is in the Ural Mountains. And it says in the cipher, we must assume Requiem will detect it and deploy fire teams. But the Fireteam game mode revolves around collecting, delivering and depositing uranium into dirty bombs. So that's why the Fireteam are there, but the cipher must have something to do with zombies. And it mentions the Ural site being by far the largest incursion zone yet recorded. It is the location of the biggest zombie outbreak yet. If any of you aren't aware, multiplayer maps like Summit, WMD, um, Array, they all take place within and around the Ural Mountains. If we go to the Black Ops Cold War campaign, there is a mission in there where we return to Mount Yemantau, again in the Ural Mountains, and now a zombie outbreak, not just any normal one, but the biggest one yet, is taking place there and the person in the cipher is saying recommend continuing operations while monitoring requiem communications with your support i will ensure all new gains remain in soviet hands we don't know as of this moment what the omega group's true purpose of reactivating these anomalies around the world are what they are trying to gain from this d machine was the first out of the bunch that was the origins where it all started off but the outbreak that is now happening at the euro site is the biggest of the bunch so is this a hint towards a future zombies map and if we go back to the d machine intro when we have weaver sitting on the chair in front of the computer screens talking to Sam, there are several locations on those screens. One of them is Marasco, Poland, the location of D-Machine. Another location we see on there is Berlin, and another is Russia, the Ural Mountains. So could it be that those locations on the screen are places where zombie outbreaks are happening? We have D-Machine, Berlin is rumoured to be a future zombies map, and now with the cipher, the next location the Requiem team could be going to is the Ural Mountains. Will we have a zombies map take place in WMD, Summit? I think that'll be a cool location. Wherever in the Ural Mountains Requiem are going, it will probably be snowing again. But for me, that is very exciting. And that isn't the only cipher that was solved by Rich Killer. There is another one, which is this, a G cipher. He says the cipher type is a hill cipher 3x3. And when you decode it, it says, attention, K. P confirms viability of deployment, opportunity identified in previous communications. Selected site is approved for a trial run of Operation Inversion. The nature of warfare is about to transform. Any mission, any time, any place. G. So now we have a bunch of names. There are K once again, but we also have P and G. 
unless the G's not supposed to be there. But this is another cipher from the Omega Group. They're talking about something called Operation Inversion, which we haven't heard about yet. They found a site which has been approved for a trial run, and whatever they are doing, it has got to transform the nature of warfare. I'm really not too sure what they could be planning here. A carry-on from what they were doing at D-Machine is Operation Inversion in the Ural Mountains. I'm not sure, but it did say one of the easter eggs in D-Machine actually gives you the key for this, but who solved this cipher without the key? If anyone's seen the easter egg where you have to turn the pylons and then the electricity shoots across the map and then a bunch of numbers are read out by a woman, that is the cipher key to this cipher, but it was solved before we solved that easter egg in game. And then we also have some documents have been found, like I said you have to get these ones from Megaton Drops so they're pretty rare, but the first one reads Dear Dr. Vogel. It is my great pleasure to inform you that after a thorough review by our resident experts, we have decided to proceed with the Cyclotron proposal submitted by yourself and Dr. Kurtz. Project End Station is officially funded. A site has been chosen in the RAG district Danzig West Prusia for construction and operation of the particle accelerator. However, this is all contingent upon a committee from yourself and Dr. Kurtz to personally oversee daily operations at End Station. This will mean taking a leave of absence from the university, but I believe this endeavour should provide a bit more excitement than the halls of the academia. Remember, the RAG will expect dramatic advance in uranium enrichment from you. I know you long to make some contributions to the study of quantum physics, but the atomic weapons program comes first. The RAG district Danzig West Prusia site is in the wooded area called Morosco. Labour for construction will be provided by nearby internment camps. As with all Uranium programs, Project End Station will be kept at a state secret. Do not speak of this to any colleagues other than Dr. Kurtz. Both of you must report here at the Institute no later than Monday morning. I will arrange for transport to the Morosco site so you can oversee construction of the cyclotron. For the Fatherland, Kurtz Diebner, PhD, Director, Uranvenian. So this is a document to Dr. Vogel, who we've heard about already in the story of D-Machine. If you watch my cutscene storyline video, I will link it down in the description for you guys. Basically, that shows the storyline of D-Machine being told through the events in-game, which is really, really cool. We see Dr. Vogel in that through anomalies and the Dark Ether, but what we didn't learn through that was, well, what we've learned here, the background, how this all began. How Nactor and Totem went from being an abandoned airfield that we saw originally in World at War, BO1, BO2, 3 and 4, to in Black Ops Cold War being a Nazi research bunker that was used for smashing atoms together. They also talk in here about uranium enrichment, which Dr. Vogel was most interested in, but the Nazis wanted him to focus on atomic weapons instead. And as we heard in the previous cipher about uranium in the Ural Mountains and fire team being sent there by Requiem, could there be a link here? Let me know in the comment section below what you think the next DLC map, because I don't think it's going to be too long away. Could we be getting a new zombies map for every season? If that's the case, I think season one begins next month. Will we really have a zombies map a month after the game releases? For me, that seems unlikely, but it could be. If not, will we be getting a new zombies map every season after that, which I think is every two months. Again, usually with zombies, we only get four maps throughout a whole game's life cycle. If we get a new one every season, we could be getting six plus zombies maps. Then again, we have only had one zombies map on day one, so maybe they were saving the other one for season one. Who knows? But yeah, two very interesting ciphers, some of the first to get solved. There are still plenty more in game that haven't been found. There are some that have been found that haven't been solved. So stay tuned on the channel because as soon as we have more information, I will update you guys. Anyway, there we go. For our next zombies map, are we going to the Euro Mountains? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, goodbye.